Well, the sheriff's office isn't sure how many people were involved in that crash, but dozens were bussed to safety. And many of them still thankful to be uninjured after seeing multiple people taken to the hospital. News 3's Amanda Quintana live at the scene where the cleanup just concluded. Amanda? That's right. Well, the driver that I spoke to said she couldn't see anything in front of her. That was until the car in front of her flipped around and the debris from that crash went onto her windshield. The even scarier part was that her two month old infant was in the back seat. I saw my life flash before my eyes. It was scary. Like any mother in an accident, Clarissa Bennett's first instinct was to make sure her baby was OK. I could really care less if I was hurt at the moment. I just cared about her and made sure that she was breathing and not injured and okay. Two month old Catalina was jolted awake in the back seat, but she is okay. The mother and daughter were in the front of the up to 29 car crash Monday morning, likely caused by fog. I couldn't see the car in front of me. I didn't see it until they were hit something and debris was flying at me. She slammed on the brakes and drove into a ditch, hoping no one would crash into her from behind. Stuck there for two hours, watching the chaos unfold as one person was pronounced dead and six were transported to the hospital. To see people being taken out in stretchers and being bagged with oxygen, and it's scary because that, that could have been you. And the last thing I want is my daughter to be without a mother. The two were bussed with dozens of others to the Verona Fire Department to be reunited with family. Besides being sore and still in shock, Bennett is safe and grateful she and her daughter left that terrifying scene with no injuries. I'm just praying that those people that were hurt are okay. And I feel bad for the family that lost that person. I just, I'm glad it wasn't me. Well, now that you can see it is all cleaned up, the sheriff's department will continue their investigation and they will be contacting all the drivers so that they can get their cars back and determine what kind of damage happened here this morning. All right. Amanda Quintana, live near the scene in Verona. Amanda, thank you.